sins, not just of homosexuality, no, bisexual, no. but of your sins of lying, of theft, of blasphemy, lust, idolatry, fornication, all of that. Thuggery. And, and thuggery. Try, yeah, thuggery, thuggery. Whatever that. I still have. I want to get a definition. Oh, yeah, Give me a definition. Yeah, yeah. But if God so, made me gay. Then how how is that against God? No, it's your if you choice. Me that, you it's chose not a to choice, me. though. So do, when do you did think you get, I want to like dick? Do when, you think I want to get persecuted? Do you think you, I want to be persecuted? When in did you say? When did you decide to be gay? Then I didn't decide to be gay. Do you think? Well, I, okay. When did you come out as gay? When did I come out? As when gay? did you realize you were gay? Well, I don't know, man. It just happened when I'm growing up. A child's uh, mind. Okay. It's yeah. not. It's not like I lived in a mother father family. You know, white picket life, right? I like like boys. a normal life. A normal according to you, yes. Normal I, according yes. to the Bible. Since yeah, I was yeah. a free man, uh -huh. I liked boys. And I don't think there's anything uh -huh. wrong with that. I went to Sunday school, and yeah. I liked boys, and they said, that's wrong. And I said, why? Oh, okay. Well, what if somebody said, well, I like, no, somebody says, I like to have sex with dogs and horses. Is that wrong? That's a different, see, that's... No, no, that's... So you're attributing you're just, me to... No, no, I'm just saying, no, that's, I'm that's I'm saying, you're saying, you you're right setting... No, I'm catching you, I'm catching you right now, man. No, no, you, you're, you're, like your compass, you're, it's, it's, it's your moral, I'm finding your moral compass. Because you say, well, that's wrong to have sex with animals, but having sex with another man is, is, is okay, right? Yeah, because a man's not an animal, man. What about, what about if a man had a sex with his brother, is that okay? Is that wrong? Because he's related to you. Then why is that? That's why is that? No, it's a moral compass. So, you're, so you're I'm trying to find a new factor to a scenario that doesn't apply to the scenario I'm telling you right now. No, no, it totally does. How? Tell it me totally how. does. Yeah, because you're you're making up your own rules. You're making up I'm your own religion. Own. You're saying you're I believe this religion. is right uh, because because I said so. I'm not. I didn't catch your name. I'm right. John. I'm Jake. Jake. So this is Jake's rules. This is Jake's world, right? Because you're making up your rules. So what if a, a guy says, well, I, he he says he likes having sex with little boys. So would you say that's wrong? But how how can you how can you attribute oh, that? Come to talk. Me? I'd love how to talk to you. How can you attribute that to me though? Okay? What? Why the hate? Why the hate? I want to know. <laughs> okay, sorry. Distraction. So anyway, so why would you say you say it would be wrong to have sex with little children? <laughs> Okay, because there there is a movement within the LGBT movement. I, I can't remember the guy's name. I'm terrible with names, like I said. But there's a but uh, let me let me finish my point. But there's a guy who who uh, promotes pedophilia, and the, and a lot of the LGBT community just say they just hate it. They go ah, oh, but he's he's got a whole movement, and and I sadly I think it could possibly be legalized no, pedophilia i think it could be yeah <laughs> because look at the drag queen things they're grooming little that's children they're they're grooming those those are pedophiles hey <laughs> don't, I don't tell get me you wrong know, so the anyway. government wants you to be divided the left and right is intentional the split between the left and right is intentional that's what the rich people want listen my point and your point we're both people that live in this society but the rich want us to be divided and your your head is clouded by drag queens when half the country makes paycheck to paycheck earnings like why the fuck do you care about drag queens, man? Well, I, I care about yeah, any any. Yeah. Okay. So so yeah. Why is Take us. Why is being gay is shit? Because the Bible says so. It okay, says okay, homosexuals will not enter the, the kingdom of God. Yeah. Yeah. You know sure. You're making all these comparisons. You know, a man liking children, a man liking animals. Uh -huh. Right. Like you're saying, like, like you're attributing that to me in the sense that like. Like, an animal is different than a man, a child is different than an adult, but a man and a man are the same. <laughs> like, two, so two brothers. No, two no, brothers. No, no, why is that? So why, so why is that? Okay, oh that's another category. So, that's, hey, hey, so, okay. 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 No, that's, that's I'm not saying, I'm that's, saying it's wrong. I'm just asking you, uh, trying to find out what, where, what's Jake's, what are Jake's rules? The, the God of Jake. The God of Jake says, I don't have a you know, God, man. <laughs> I, I you, on Earth. You're actually an idolater because you make up Earth. a God in your own mind. I don't right. make up a God. Yeah, yeah. I just live yeah. on Earth, dude. So, so the Bible says that, that it's not only wrong for a man to lie with a man, a woman to lie with a woman, woman to be fair, but but also that there's consequences that they they will end up in hell. But not just for being homosexual or lesbian, what but because you, of lying, of theft, yeah, of blasphemy, yeah, yeah, yeah. lust, idolatry, fornication. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so, just a second. Well, I also just find it really contradictory when you're like, yeah, being gay is okay, I love gay people, but don't be gay because it's a sin. Uh, yeah. See what I'm saying? What? See how that comes off? You're saying gay is a sin according to the Bible. Gay is yeah, bad. Yeah. And you say, you, want, you know, you, want, you push Christianity, people want them to practice it, want them to not sin. So how can you tell me that you love me and you love gay people when you also tell me to stop being who I am? Because I don't want you to go to hell. I want you to go to heaven with me. 
But what if I don't right? care about I, What if I want to enjoy my life right now? Well, what I'm warning you, and I, I can't in? change your mind. God is the one that changed your mind. But but I care about you to bring the message, which not only God has commanded me to bring the gospel to you and the good news of Jesus Christ, but also if I if I really did love you, I would give you. Uh, I would give you a warning and I would point you to Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ can save you from your sins, not just of homosexuality and bisexual, sin, whatever, no. but of lying, of theft, blasphemy, lust, so, idolatry, all okay, of that. Okay, let me, yeah. let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So when you're quoting from the Bible, you're, you're quoting probably the classic line, a man must not lie with man. You're taking that fully out of context. Truly what that quote actually means is not to commit adultery, not homosexuality. Doesn't say anything about that. Yeah, it does. Romans it does. one, First Corinthians six nine, Leviticus eight. No man, 18. I went to school all, for none. fifteen fucking years, dude. I know this shit, uh, and I know. Your mind. Well, you know, you have an agenda. You I want don't to, have an agenda. you want to live a want sinful to life. Being shit on people by you, you, you want to live a sinful life, and I'm saying, turn from your sins, turn to Jesus Christ. He will forgive you of your sins, but you have to repent. You have to be sorry for your sins. You have to. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sure. sorry. It's been such a long hey, time. Hey, good to see you. I know, don't touch him, he might get saved. I don't know. I'm not a magical. I love it. She's like the YouTube hero, heroine. Yeah, she's like, she's a YouTube star. I'm not a girl. You make me the thumbnails of your videos. The last one was like, no, you take great pictures. Title? Yeah, yeah. Woke sure. lib owned. Actually, um, my favorite one was University of Oregon students think the Christian God is Loki. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, we had some great conversations. I think I was I was a flock party last year. I think yeah. So flock party 2023. Yeah. I want to see these pictures. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Oh well, basically, um, what this means. That's a good question. A lot of people ask. Because it's a simple sign, but it has a lot of deep meanings. Like hundred percent of the people that I have ever met that are either LGBTQ or LGBTQ friendly are for murdering babies. They're for murdering babies. Actually, babies suck. I'm just gonna say they cry and they're fucking annoying. Yeah, well, that's what that's what babies do. They cry. You cried when you were a baby too, so you know you can't blame them. They're hungry. They if they didn't cry, they die. You know, right? so, so you believe in America? Do you believe in freedom? Do I believe in America? What do you mean? Do you believe in the that? idea of freedom, right? Oh, of course. So yeah. if I can, if you can practice your own religion and your own beliefs, uh -huh. why, why do you try to push those beliefs on others when I just want to practice what I do in my own time? So it's you're part of you're telling me not to practice my religion? I'm not telling you that. I'm telling okay. you not to push it upon me. Oh. Right? Well, in doing that, you're pushing your religion on me. Telling me not to push my religion on you, right? So you're trying to suppress my First Amendment right and my freedom of religion by telling me why are you pushing it? Does that make sense? I'm just so saying, it's, you're telling me to not be free. It's hypocrisy, is what it is. It's, but, yeah. but the part where I'm catching you is that I'm not in a religion. You're in a definitive religion. You are Christian. Like, that is definitive. Uh, you're, a rid you're religious too. I'm not. I, yeah, I in some way, you're religious. I'm not part of a religion. I'm you're, spiritual. It's I would different. guess it's you're different. probably uh, a, a secular humanist. Like, do you believe in God? I don't know God? what the fuck that means, man. Do, do you believe in God? I don't know what that means. No, I don't. Oh, you know? Okay, so then you are religious. You're an atheist. I'm not. Because atheist is, a, not is starting it's to be a more atheism is starting to be. Uh, yeah, it's, it's unorganized. Yeah. But, I, mean, I don't know. It just exists. But in a sense, there's like David Silverman is like the uh, the president of the American Atheist Association. You know. Hey, man. Aaron Ra is the is the president of the Texas Atheists. You know, so it's organized to some extent. I but, think people but like you were just desperate because your old way of thinking is starting to age out. And honestly, you, like, you think so? it's kind of just a waste of your time. Well, just, that's that. Yeah. But I appreciate you talking to me. You know, um, it's, it's valuable to me to give you uh, at least some sort of warning, you know, because Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners like me, like you, like him, like all of us. So they don't have to go to hell. Yeah, yeah. And it's easy to point the finger and say, oh, he's worse than me. Like, are you a good person? No, but I don't want to, I want to, I don't want to believe in a God who like fucks up LGBTQ people. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm like not sure what you mean like that. Like, oh, oh, okay. Hell, okay, so yeah. Like, and he will. I don't want to obey those rules right. that sends those people. Like, I don't want to be But here's something really religion. significant. So back in the 60s, you used to say, dig this. And I'm, I'm that old. Okay. But, um, so, uh, God doesn't send homosexuals to hell just for being a homosexual. It's okay. because they're liars, thieves, blasphemers, adulterers, fornicators, and idolaters, and rebellious against their parents, and and covetous. You know, 
all breaking all of the. Are you familiar with the Ten Commandments? I didn't know OJ was gay. What's that? So every murderer was gay? No, no, no. I, you missed it. No, I'm sorry. I'm saying, I'm saying that we have a we have a multitude of sins, right? Yeah. So it's not just he's not just homosexual, bicycle, however he wants to identify, but he's a liar, a thief, a blast. Bisexuals? No. Didn't you say you were a bisexual? Yes. Yeah, or were you just kidding? Bisexual. Okay, I'm just I'm just trying to honor your identification, saying that's what you're saying you are. How can okay. You prove that he's stolen or he's committed, you know, murder. But I know he has because he's a human. I haven't. So, then because all people we've all hell? sinned and fall short of the oh, glory then of why God. Are LGBTQ people going why are we singled out? Is yeah. my question. Well, let me let me sin. let me try it again. I'm going to try it again. So. God doesn't send people to hell just for being homosexuals, for right? It's right. You catch that? Okay. That. We have a multitude of sins. You do, you do, you, I do. We all do. The only yeah. difference between me and and y'all who have not been saved is is I've trusted in Jesus. Amen. I've turned to Jesus and let Him forgive my sins and repent, repent of my sins. So, Listen, I'll yeah. let you so, pray the gay away, man. It's okay. We get it, man. Like it's 2023. Uh, you can come out now. It's okay, man. I'm not sure what you mean by that. I know you've been pushing that. it back. I know you've been trying to pray it away, uh, but it's okay, oh, man. Oh, I, I get you. Yeah, yeah. It's all right, man. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can, uh, you can come out and admit, admit that you're a liar. You don't have to keep suppressing I'm not it. Lying, man. Yeah, and, and it's you, okay to be. I know you okay told to a lot of lies in your life, but and you and you're going to those live live pride festivals where you go and everybody's a liar and they're proud <laughs> that they're liars. But you can come out. You know, it's it's okay now. You can be proud of your the, lying. The majority right? of homophobic What about theft? Let's do with theft. Let's. You go to Thieve Pride Festivals where everybody steals and, and they're they proud steal. of it. Yeah, they yeah. Steal. It's great. Yeah, what right. I'm, I'm just kind of being silly here. But <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is all of those sins will send you to hell, right? Oh all of those sins will send you to hell forever. And I don't want you to go to hell. Like ask Jesus to forgive you, and you can just like. You can we have to it. repent. Do you know yeah, what that means? Repent? It means return from your sins. So you, turn away from your sins. So like, hate your sins, and then trust in Jesus. So, so like I'm sorry. If you were gay, you, and you like went around kissing a bunch of dudes for like 20 years, and you decided that you were Christian, and you repented, you'd be okay. Well, yeah, you trust in Jesus. We had a man here in Eugene that just did that two years ago. He was he was gay I for right now, he was gay for 30 dude. years. Homosexual for 30 years, and so he repented, <laughs> trust in Jesus. Now he's free from that. We we're talking, I think you were talking about freedom. Oh, you were talking about freedom. Freedom. Jesus came to set us free from our sins. Because when we're in bondage to sin, we end up in hell forever. So you're all <laughs> our there's, there's no free will, right? There's no free will. Thank you. There's no free will. We're all slaves to slaves to sin, right? Is everything on this earth intentionally made by God? Everything on this earth is God's will, right? According to the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So if everything appears the way it is, why question it? Just why why wouldn't we just let it be? Because it's God's work, right? Like like I said, like if I was like you said, born in a normal household, I might pick it life. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm John. No, it's okay. Yeah, nice nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. We uh I'm gay, by the way. Oh, that's okay. I I shake gay people's hand. I'm not afraid. And I love you, by the way. I don't want you to go to hell in your sins. So why are you telling not, me to not, not be gay? Why not are you just, me to not be prideful? Well, no, what I'm saying is, I'm is that... By the way. And, and yeah, and, and people have a multitude of sins. They have a multitude of perversions. But why is that sinful? Uh, because the Bible says so. Not because I say so. so I do, I'm just a nobody. Right, you know? but, so why accord your life on a text that's thousands of years old for the modern age? I understand the idea of looking back to do the current... But the current state we're in now is so far foreign from the Bible. Uh, right, the right. Someone made well, thousands of years ago. Yeah, well, somebody somebody back in the early 1800s would say, you are immoral. Why? Because you don't support slavery. You won't let me beat and rape and murder I feel like and own really another human question. being oh, because they're boy. black here in the you, you would be immoral because times have changed my friend you know <laughs> right or if you're in Nazi Germany you would be immoral saying why are you why are you murdering those Jews oh you're off the you're off your rocker they're Jews aren't human they're subhuman that's what the, the Nazis so, would say so so society do doesn't determine morals right you could agree with that yeah but God doesn't either because it's it's a it's a text that a human wrote a human in society with a society set of values and how do you know that you read you read something that a man wrote someone wrote yes okay so you trust that man but you don't trust 
what the Bible calls holy men of God. So God inspired holy men of God to write God's Listen, word. Listen, I, I refuse to believe in the text thousands of years ago that in no way could predict what society would look like now. How can you attribute something so old to something so current? Like, I, I'm spiritual, but I'm not religious. Uh -huh. Because I can't subscribe to ideologies that pushes people down. I mean, can't we... Uh -huh. Don't we want to unify in a society? Oh, I, I want to lift you up. I want. This, I don't want to push you down. This promotes, this promotes I want division. I, I want you. Here's here's what I would. I, I would just be immensely delighted if if you would repent tonight of your.